all right guys hope you guys are doing good welcome back to the another video this as you guys can see by the title this will be part two of the Gila County Jail in Globe, Arizona. We are welcomed by Tara and T. Jen, and we also have a special guest with us for the very first time on this channel. You'll see Kill Hut 702. So make sure you guys go check him out. I'll link his channel down below along with Tara's. Make sure you guys smash that like button on this video. You guys do not want to miss anything in this video. Watch from beginning to end. Grab your snacks, turn the lights off. It gets crazy. Enjoy. jail in Arizona. It was erected as somewhat of a fortress, a barracks. These cells predate the jail. The patent dates are different on every block. They were all salvaged, so 1897 on average for these. And they were built to keep people in. You had interlocking mechanisms, you had an outer, and then you had four more layers of outers with extra locking doors. But if you were sentenced here, you were sentenced here. It was county. It was different than already being sentenced. So if you were here, that is, you weren't sentenced yet. So people, this particular is one of the two men's tanks. And if you were in here, you could have been innocent. You could have maybe just had bare drunk tank. You know, you could have been a child molester. You could have been a murderer. All of you would be together until you went to court to figure out if you were or weren't. So it was more dangerous and it was more communal, even with the adolescents in here. So you're talking every kind of race and creed where normally you could not mix in the early days in Old West territorial history. You had everybody mixed um, and all the races, Chinese, black, Italian, it was, you name it, here. They were all here together waiting to be tried. So this was all built to get people to due process. So as you go through the building, you'll see there's a catwalk adjoining our building to the old courthouse next door. Well, that was to keep people alive to get to see the judge. Because if you think about Old West history, it was a time where the vigilantes would take it on. Vigilantes would take it on. They didn't want to wait for somebody else to have judgment. They wanted to say, you're guilty and I'm going to string you up. So we had the hanging tree. After the hanging tree, we were more civilized and we had the gallows. And then when the gallows were taken down, they built this to get people to do process. And, and we do have a couple of nooses in the front room to prove that even that didn't work in the first couple of years. And the assassination tank upstairs to prove that didn't work in the first year. But it did take and it did work. And it didn't work in the first year. But it did take and it did work. And uh, some guys are in here for six months to a year just waiting for their court trial. You couldn't go outside. It was that. There were people that hung themselves. It was a busy town. They could get things right through the bars and through people in the alleyways by ropes. So we have several records of people hanging themselves, choking themselves, jumping off the catwalk. A lot of different really violent things just to not be here anymore. One example is the Italian gentleman that was sentenced and he just couldn't handle it. And so he jumped off head first off the catwalk and took his own life rather than having to be sentenced. So you think of the day of the Apache um, and all the rest were confinement. They'd rather die than be confined. So you have a lot of things that live here because of those kind of things, but we don't know what was here before. So it's a copper mining town, you know, we are on a busy uh, track of downtown with the electrical. Next door to the courthouse is got a copper staircase and then a big open atrium, so it's almost vortex style. We have all of these things, local quarry cement to the sides of the building and a local quarry stone next door. It all just kind of is a funnel. It's the only way we can explain why there's so much different activity in this building in particular. So they stopped using this jail in 1980, 
1981, which it's pretty bad if you go through. 1981 wasn't that long ago. But there, there's a lot here and we keep finding more and more and more. And it's rough and tumble Old West history, but we definitely have the history and it's, it's a fabulous but creepy <laughs> fortress of a jail right in our downtown, which was located right on the original highway. Who are um, some of the known prisoners that stayed here waiting for their conviction? Right, so in our history, I have to say there was on um, the premise of, it, the way we're sitting is on a corner where there's the old courthouse and then the jail and the catwalk in between. So before that set up, there was a previous courthouse sitting on the corner that was smaller, that was not big enough. So we know in the era of Geronimo, the Apache kid, Billy the kid, uh, Pearl Hart, which is very famous Old West history. We all know that they visited the original courthouse and testified and, and things. Since this jail and courthouse was here, the jail housed all the records of all the prisoners, all the photographs, you know. Think about human territorial prison closed in 09. We opened in 10. So some of the salvage pieces and parts that were meant to go back and forth ended up here. So we were territorial jail okay. until 1912 okay. when we became a state. So with all that being said, to answer your question, all the records from here went in storage after they moved out of the old jail next door okay. into here and a sewer main broke on top of them. So we have no photographs. We have no history, we have no idea other than the newspaper articles we can dig up. So thank goodness there was newspaper articles all around and, and that's how we know about the Kingsley Olds trial. But we didn't find that out from that first. That was from a paranormal investigation group two decades ago that kept getting readings of the little girls and they kept researching why maybe there would be little girls in here. And that's how we even found that newspaper article mm -hmm. and started researching it and found so much data. So we do have records of some of the suicides, some of the hangings, because they were very specific and tons of newspaper articles that we found. But as for famous, we're still uncovering them. It's kind mm -hmm. of amazing. To this day too. Yeah, yeah. Even the 1979 motorcycle gang, that was all, all the graffiti upstairs was probably all from them because they there was two murders and nobody would confess so they locked them all up in here and together so we have things that were major in time that we can track from the newspapers but as to a known outlaw here or there because through history we were county jail mm -hmm. so it was they moved on to florence or somewhere else to be really documented in history so we're almost like the transient jail um, but there was a mixture of everybody so but, and then on the third floor there's a woman's area um, actually area? there's like the second and a half floor okay. <laughs> so okay. the second floor is another men's tank like this a little bit wider with all the graffiti on it and then across the hall you go up half okay. and that's where the assassination cell the meditation cell um yeah and and then the two women's tanks okay. and then the third floor was just a big open space right, and that, that was for trustees Okay. So cops, and they did at one point realize the prisoners down here were either trying to diddle the young gentlemen that were in here and scared to death, or they were teaching them how to wash checks and things that you didn't want to teach them skills to become on a bad road. So they started petitioning to move all the adolescents up, upstairs to the women's quarters, or if the women's quarters were full, they moved them up to the trustees. Okay. And is there anyone known that you guys know of that had stayed here in the women's area? Um, in the women's? Yeah. No. Okay. Um, in the men's, several men have come forward. Okay. Uh, the beauty of Facebook, we get a message or they come in with their grandkids. Look where grandpa lived. Mm. <laughs> Very interesting. We always ask what they were in for. It's a staff rule. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, if it's something not so comfortable, then we... We step outside, you know. Right. So, but because it's just smart. But for the most part, a lot of people that visit were drunk tank. Or, or recently, we had a gentleman that was 18 went out with his friends for his first night of drinking when that was the drinking age, and got blitz drunk and woke up in here. And then all the prisoners were like, you better pray to your God that the other kid makes it. Well, he didn't know he got in a bar fight. Didn't remember any of it. The kid didn't make it. Whoa. He was sentenced to 20 years. And when we were talking to him, we took pictures of the cell that he stayed in the most, just because he remembered certain drawings and etchings and, and um, 
you know, he's since found the Lord and a pastor and done so many great things, written books and the like. But we went in and took pictures of the cell, just, you know, kind of that closure thing. And there was his name. You, when you're in the cell, look up his name and sentence 20 years. Oh, wow. And he lived in the Midwest. And they hopped on a plane and came out and, hmm. and uh, walked us through what they remember from the late 80s. So, wow. or early 80s, sorry, late right. 70s. But the women's cells are interesting. We do have a very strong presence of a woman that we believe uh, we've tracked to a newspaper article that would have been right after the jail opened. And she's a very strong presence and makes sure everybody knows <laughs> when they come in. They, she introduces herself in one way or another. And, and it seems like, I won't spoil it for you, but, <laughs> but she's like the mother hen. Okay. And, um, and I, it was one of those uh, that we figured she's in here for murder, but it was justifiable because she was being abused. So justifiable to all of us nowadays. Right. And but our legal system, it didn't matter in those days. So uh, yeah, she she's definitely she feels like the caretaker. But we've had other women come forward that weren't as sweet and nice, shall we say? But do I know any of them by name? Not really, other than the newspaper articles that we find. A lot of mothers that had enough in the old west territory and right. just were done and just snapped kind of things it's interesting even to have women in with the men they definitely had a quarantine separate tank with the door and then the mesh is even different mm -hmm. so it's curious if you've got a whole jail full of men and you know 12 women probably mm -hmm. not good odds right. <laughs> you want to keep them locked up and, right. and in there it's more for their safety thank you you're welcome absolutely Got that awesome tweaky noise there. Guys, we just walked into the jail. We were just doing some cinematic, and uh, me and Jen just walked into the jail. Not even fully in the jail yet, and we already hear a jail door slam upstairs. And I know it's windy out, but there's no way that wind could do that, because these doors are really heavy. Also told about this light here in the bathroom that um well I was told about this earlier when I came to get the keys for the jail. That light hasn't been working in some time and as me and the caretaker for this place left, this light actually came on. We were shocked that that would happen while we were here. But she said it wouldn't happen at all. They tried fixing it, they thought it was some something to do with the electrical And you got all these other ones that have come through here, AZ, Ghost Tours, Ghost Hunters Outlet.
So this is the intake office where they basically checked in the criminals before they were put in the jail cells. So we are going to go complete night vision as well uh, throughout the video and back and forth between night vision and regular camera. Personnel, no guns in jail area or tank areas. No exception. City of Globe. Prostitute permit receipt. Wow. And like you guys seen in the previous clip, um, Molly explained that the only history they know, or the only um, inmates they know of, were from news articles, uh, newspaper articles, because um, everything else was destroyed in a water main. And then here is actually the first two nooses, I believe. The last two, I'm sorry, that were used. Alright guys, so now we're on the second floor. <sighs> my breath, I'm trying to catch my breath. It always happens. Every time I'm on the second floor, I get short. And it's a breath, and it, it takes a toll on me. But um, I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough, just to show you guys that we're, we are the only ones here. Me, Kilot, and Tarot. Um, there are some windows open, so you keep that in mind. If you hear anything slam or um, whatever it may be, there's a couple windows open up here. Because we've already heard a couple slams from up here while we were downstairs. So like I said, downstairs, typical upstairs here, um, the cots or the little prison cells don't have much. Um, so I'm not really going to take too much time on those. I'm just going to show you guys rather quickly and then walk through here. So like I said, right over here there's a window open. I'm not sure if I'm able to close it. so. Gotta keep that in mind as well. Storage. Oh shit. Hello. Excuse my language. <laughs> now, like I said um, earlier, some of these doors do not open. Like, this one I just tried pulling open and it's been like that for God knows how long. Most of these are just wide open, but they are um, operator off of hydraulic usage so right there I tried moving that one there's no way so I'm gonna set this camera up up here um, facing in here I'll put a sensor in here as well if you guys missed part one I'll link that down below but this one will be more informational for one for two a ton more stuff that I missed last time I was here so make sure you guys keep your eyes out for anything that I may miss during editing or even after editing so sorry I'm like speaking so slowly it's hard to catch my breath in here 
All right, I almost forgot to. I want to show you guys this part of the second floor. This is like the isolation, or I'm not sure really what they called it. It's more like an isolation room, if you want to call it that. And up here is where Kingsley resided. And he was shot in the head from up the window right across from where we are at the old courthouse. The woman's ward, or the woman's area, is here to the left. And this is more like the meditation um, area. Any trustee found near the door will be locked up in meditation. So this door is open, this window I should say. So that's why I'm not gonna put the camera here. Just because I don't want it to tamper with any of the evidence that we try to catch here. Who knows, we may catch one or two good things, we may catch nothing. If you don't like to speak with the communication devices we have, you can speak to the microphone on my camera, if that works better for you. Hello? All I see is just through my OCD screen. I cannot see anything else in front of me. I was told earlier this evening that there's a woman that likes to likes to play or act uh, mother hen type way with people. We come with respect. We don't come with any disrespect or harm. You can speak into this device right here that the gentleman is holding. Anything you would like to say. Imagine being in these small cells, laying in these type of beds, with no comfort at all. I'm claustrophobic in here and the door is open. Do you want to try to do like a radio silence challenge, like 15 minutes long, like no speaking, no, like each one of us in here, like he'll hit me and then. Yeah. 15 minutes, like... Just complete silence. Or maybe 10 minutes? Like, yeah. I think 15 would we'll probably Yeah. Maybe 10. Let's see We're going to try that out. And I challenge you guys, too, to try that out. In any location you go to, 15 minutes. Lights out. Lights out. Pitch quiet. Pitch dark. I'm actually going to stand here alone right now in the complete darkness. I wasn't doing that earlier. All right, guys. So, Jen is trying to turn on the S-Box right now. And we... I'm not joking with you when we tell you it doesn't want to turn on, it doesn't want to play. Because we'll let it try to scan and 
Let's see if it does anything. Okay. That's FM. Let's try AM now. to this jail cell here. We have the lights off, so I'm in night vision right now, but he turned his flashlight on, and what he seen when he turned his flashlight on was this, and he actually jumped. <laughs> he jumped. Okay, ready? Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Okay, Is there anybody here that wishes to speak with us? You can do so via that little box. It sweeps through radio waves, creating static noise that you can speak with. If you have any messages for us, you can speak through that, and he will say them out loud. Would you like to tell us your name? I just had an orb, I believe. I have to double check this. What was that? You are not allowed to attach yourself to any of us, but you can speak through that box. Or to our camera, which is in his hand. You can drain the battery if you need to as well to get your energy. Would you like us to stop? Or would you, you don't want to communicate? Hey. Hi. How are you? Is there something you would like to tell us? You're doing really well. I know it's not easy communicate to a device like that. My name is Jenny, and this is my friend Fluffy. We come with peace and respect. But if there's anything... Hey! Hey! I know it's difficult. What's your name? You don't have to be scared. Really? Yes, you don't have to be afraid. No need to be afraid. We're not going to harm you. We won't harm you and we don't want you to harm us either. We're just here to have a friendly conversation. If you would like. Are you in pain? How are you feeling? You okay? Yeah. Wow. Feeling lightheaded. 
question. Yeah, yeah. It, that's yeah, what I told definitely. Yeah, definitely. It's time to bring him out. He's, so I had two really clear haze and it really, and it really, yeah. Yeah. Because that's what I said. That it was just shuffling through. Yeah, we were like, it's safe to speak with us, and then you said, really, really, yeah. for real, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it was like you know, hey, and then hey, so we were greeting, but <coughs> I mean, it's it's an intense thing to do the Estes method like properly. It is. You good? Yeah. <laughs> Is there anyone that wishes to communicate with us? Do you have any messages for us? Hello, guys. Hello? What is your name? Or how may we refer to you as? Some male speaking, I can't make out what he's saying. Screaming, please! Okay, okay, okay. Out! Oh! Out! Oh, 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 oh. Stop! Stop! You're fine. That was a lot of screaming. Okay. You need to detach from them immediately. You are not welcome to attach yourself to any of us or our equipment. Thank you again for your time and your communication. Okay, we're going to be returning power back to the building. Alright guys, so I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, please smash that like button. Leave in the comment section down below any other ideas you would like for us to try while we film at these types of locations or anywhere for that matter. We are going to be doing some intention videos, you know, scaring all your videos. Those will be out very soon. Got some crazy intents for those. Can't wait to show you guys that. With that all being said, thank you guys. You guys have a great day or evening and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.